What creates change? Um, I love that question. I think I'd begin by saying change is always possible. Change is always ready to happen. So the question is what kind of context or holding environment or space do we try to create in order to facilitate that kind of change? What creates change is the therapist and the client intentionally working on the material of the unconscious. That's what creates change. Lots of us experience times when we're really hard on ourselves, especially, and hard on others, even to the point of being harsh. But when we can grow this capacity for compassion towards ourselves and towards others, our suffering reduces. A factor in change is new experiences. New experience of myself in relationship with others, whether it's the therapist or other people. Experiences of listening to myself, paying attention to things that I may have ignored, uh, of trying out a new voice. But the experience, uh, more, more than thinking about myself, um, trying out a new self. A moment of coming to the edge of a stuck place, a moment of despair or defeat. Um, when it seems like there are no more answers. And in, the, in that moment, I believe um, what creates change is, is just sort of an inkling that there's something different, something else possible. Engaging with intention, the belief that we can change. We're learning more and more from neuroscience that change is possible, that not only can we change our thoughts, but we can change our very biology. We can change who we are in the world. Uh, and to be in uh, a kind of work that is about that business is tremendously exciting.